What's poppin' everybody? This is Sable 4 Welcome to our first match with Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Test build for the most part, this deck that I made, but I'm still expecting a lot from it uh, because it is pretty much the strongest VMAX from Chillin' Rain, thanks to its ability. I mean, energy acceleration and you draw cards, pretty busted. Uh, welder style, in a way. So, looks like I'm gonna open up with the Shadow Rider himself, the basic version anyway. And we got a decent hand, I guess. I like, I usually like opening up with Marnie, uh, since, you know, people playing Zacian V is a pretty common play, and then drawing cards first turn. So at least we can negate that. But instead, he opened up with this Buzzwool, Buzzwool Feromas attack team GX, which is a card I haven't seen in forever. I mean, I guess people are going to try and use it still in a few grass decks. Uh, from the looks of things, he's running Mewtwo. And I don't know if it, this is going to be like a Mewtwo deck, but since he's attaching grass energies, basic grass energies, definitely Uranguru is probably in here too. Um, well, not Uranguru, uh, the, uh, the other ape guy, uh, Rillaboom. Yeah, got them confused. But you guys know what I mean. It's just use this guy for energy acceleration on the Mewtwo. It's another way to build Mewtwo that people try. Uh, it's not the first time I've seen it. So Marnie, we're going to shuffle our hand, draw 5, and get a few good stuff. Got the Cricketon V. I can use that to draw more cards. Necrozma, necessary guy for sure. And Quick Ball. I'm going to discard the boss's orders. Mm, I don't really want to do that, but I guess if we have to use it, uh, there's Eldegas V2. But get me the other Shadow Rider. And now, get the VMAX in hand so that I don't draw it. And draw an additional two cards with the Cricketoon. So Cricketoon, yeah, it's decent if you have a low hand. Decided to use it instead of Dedene. A pretty big call, if I'm being honest, because Dedene is just so good. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you don't want to discard your cards. So Cricketoon is better. I guess. I mean, to be honest, in this deck, the one that I really want to use is Crobat V, but I don't have that yet. So, just try and test this guy out. And let's see, Cherish Ball. What is he going to get? Uh, the Denny GX, uh, the aforementioned. Uh, but he needs to get the Grookies down if he's going to get the Rillaboom out eventually. Because if you can't do that, you're not getting energy acceleration. So, we're not doing too bad for now, but it's what comes after next. Like, I get the VMAX side. Perhaps we're going to use Marnie once again. Mess with his hand. I, she's going with Cherish Ball once again. It gets the Rowlet tag team. But your bench is full now, so... Okay. Did get the Grookey down, though. And uh, has the Balloon as well on the... For a Masa. Hmm. Playing even this guy too, Guzmahala. A bit strange. So, I don't really know what kind of stadium you really want in this deck. I mean, I guess the Grass uh, Evolution Searcher. But instead, she's going to get the Wondrous Labyrinth. All right. Something, I suppose. I mean, I know that card. I even mentioned it in the team up rotation video. It does see play as a means to mess with your opponent, disrupt your opponent. You don't really need to use it with fairy decks, of course. If you have the energy acceleration and you don't care about its effect, it's only going to affect your opponent, then it's good. So let's get our VMAX out. And now, I guess I'm going to use Marnie because I don't want to discard double supporters. And we get the Fog Crystal, we get another Old Cemetery, and I get a few basic energies, so good stuff, good stuff. Let's use the Fog Crystal, and what should I get? Should I get a Pokemon? Should I get an energy? Let's get an energy. Search those out while we can, I suppose. And now Underworld Door, let's start powering up the Necrozma. Put an energy on, you draw two, and put the horror energy as well. 
I mean, I, I wish I could attack with a big damage, but we can't do it yet, unfortunately. So, we're probably going to stick to using doing 10 with the regular Calyrex. Let me get... What should I get? Maybe Latios could come up in handy. She's using a lot of tag teams. Uh, let's get Necrozma V, the safe bet. I mean, what I'm probably going to do in this match is use two regular Vs and then a V Max to finish things off. Like, if if she doesn't kill the active Calyrex, I'm probably going to use two of the Necrozmas and then use Calyrex V Max at the end. Makes sense. Uh, looks like she's running the full tech. Uh, Supporter engine though. I see she has Mallow and Lana too. So it's gonna fuck with us a bit because I don't really get one hit knockouts in this deck against the big HP Pokemon like tag teams and V Maxes. Right. So she has a lot of grass energies though. Like I'm kind of worried. Uh, Rowlet Executor's GX attack is one of the most broken GX attacks in my opinion. And it would definitely fuck with us. I mean, I need to get like another Calyrex VMAX out. But let's see, attach the horror energy, or attach a regular energy, what I meant to say. And now it's switch time. And uh, let's put another energy on the Necrozma V. So, Poke Gear, let me get Avery. Force her to. Uh, discard a few cards. Like, she's going to have to sacrifice something for sure. So, Tadene is probably the obvious Pokemon she's going to ditch, the first one. And then for the next one, might be Buzzwall, might be Krikatoon, but I guess it was Buzzwall. Makes the most sense. And Energy Spinner, get another basic energy. Now, I guess the good thing that we can get right now is hit Mewtwo for weakness. So while I normally wouldn't be able to get a one hit KO on this Pokemon by just doing 220, uh, with the weakness we got it. So this is pretty good. Like I, uh, she couldn't get like a weakness energy. Maybe she doesn't have those. I don't know. But uh, straightforward, one hit KO, and it puts me in a very good position. Like I think I might not even evolve into the V Max now because I'm just gonna be giving her. Uh, three easy prizes since the dude is hurt. So it promotes the Mewtwo once again. This one I think does have a weakness energy. So she won't die in one shot. But uh, I still have a very good advantage here. Uh, our psychic Pokemon are weak to darkness. So Mewtwo won't be able to get any one hit KO on my guys. So Stealthy Hood. Okay, whatever. That's not going to affect us. And that's all she really has is this Mewtwo. I mean, she can attach energies anywhere she wants with Rillaboom as well. So it's not out of the question she can power up a different attacker. But uh, lots of stuff in the disc pile. And I don't really see her doing much. I guess she's thinking she's going to go for the Elegant Soul attack. Just 190. And uh, get the damage through our special energy. So let me just get rid of your shit with Tool Scrapper. It wasn't really going to make any difference, but whatever. And uh, discard a lot of stuff with Magnolia. But I just need to get energies at this point. Maybe see like uh, Boss's Orders or uh, Eldegas V. Eldegas V because I did discard the Boss's Orders. So not bad, not bad. Uh, get an additional energy with Energy Spinner. And... Uh, Get an underworld door effect. So that's what's up. So spreading the energies around. I mean, I have a lot of energies at this point. Uh, we're really good. And go for 220. Couldn't get the KO due to the weakness energy. But I mean, she can't really do much with uh, Mewtwo right now. She has to use its GX attack. Like it's only attack to heal. Because if not... I mean, she's going to die, basically. So she puts an additional energy. 
So she could do that. Uh, she can try go for the Rowlet Tag Team GX attack. It would suck. But the thing is, is that if she puts all those energies back in the deck, I do have Pokemon that I can attack like with uh, just a one energy. So we'll see what happens. So the Dene GX. Thinking really hard. I mean, I don't know what, what she's doing. Uh, Should have gotten another attacker or something on the previous turn. Just use something different. Uh, so the Den A going to discard the other guys. And uh, I don't know why she didn't bench them. I think there was a Grookey there. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, to stage one. And she's going to play the Wondrous Labyrinth down. Now, this isn't really going to affect me, to be honest. I mean, maybe, I guess, if once the Necrozma V dies, could be. But it's going to affect you as well now. I mean, I don't think you, can, you can't pull the GX attack off and get the energy removal plus now. You need the seventh energy. So I don't think she knew what she was doing. I didn't understand it. Hmm... Yeah, I, I don't know what she was thinking, but I think at this point it's just a wrap. Uh, you just got to go for the healing attack. It's your only way to survive. Uh, you haven't used a GX attack, but instead she's just going to do Jet Punch. So I did not understand uh, at all. I guess she realized she was going to lose, but you could have healed. You could have used uh, Mewtwo's GX attack. I'm pretty sure you, you could have. Or maybe she needs more psychic energies anyway. But now we're just going to use Necrozma V and a Simple KO. Prismatic Ray is going to do it. I don't even need to use the main attack. So GG, I guess. Uh, kind of a strange first match with Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What's we'll say?